Yeah, good to see you too. So I'm good. So I'm so excited, excited for this fight. So yeah, me here. I'm gonna show put this, this on and make a big show for the fans. Can you tell us how fight week has been going for you so far? Sorry. Can you tell us how fight week has been going for you so far? So actually, I was waiting for this fight such a long time. So for me, it's like uh, I'll be honored to to fight uh, to to the former champ in La. So I'm really really excited to to do this. So to 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 put the gloves on, to step in the mess. Actually, I'm so excited to do this fight. For of course, so we are the the, the number one contender for for against against for for fighter now. So. I, I feel so exciting. Leandro, we have media from all over the world here ready to ask you questions. The first question will go to Dylan Bowker of My MMA News. Dylan, please go ahead. Hey there, Leandro. I appreciate you making some time. Yeah, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well, man. How are you doing? Good, good, good. That's awesome to hear. I'm just kind of wondering with this fight here, being that you're a former middleweight title challenger within the promotion, and I mean, you're fighting the former middleweight champion here. Where do you think a victory here puts you in relation to getting another crack at the one middleweight title? So, uh, so of course, so, I mean, I mean, they own the, the right to, to be the champ. So, of course, I'm super, super excited to do this fight against him. So, he's, of course, he's a great fight. He's uh, the, the form in two division champion. So, just feel exciting. So, I have to do my job and then show to everyone what I have to do. Yeah, and also just as a quick follow-up, because you know your last defeat there was to Rainier Deritter, but it seems like per some photos going around on social media that you've been training with him as of late, and he has a pair of victories over Ong La pretty recently. Like, what insights have you gotten from Rainier Deritter for this upcoming fight? Yeah, I was with Deritter, so I was just training for for for, for well. So I was in Netherlands now, so I moved to Netherlands. So then I take advantage to to, to train for him. So he's a nice and a great, great, uh, great fighter. We have a next question here from Jesse Holland of MMA Ania. Did you watch the two Angla Ung Sang versus the Ritter fights? And what did you think of those, those fights, particularly Angla's performances? Uh, so for the first fight, so I was super, super surprised because I, I didn't thought I was going to finish like that, like a so quick, like a fast, so just in the first round because uh, he's a champ. So I guess he makes some mistakes to, to, to don't believe on the read uh, ground game. And the second one, I was, this is the fight I want to see from the first one, no? Like the second fight is su supposed to be the, the first one because I like to see the the, the, the five around how it's going to be. So on the first on the first fight, I was just, hmm, uh, how so quick? And then the second fight, I see he's put so much. He, he learned a lot from the the for the first mistake from the first fight. Then I, of course, I have to watch because uh, I'm gonna fight with then in the future. So the first fight, I guess, just a little bit disappointed, but I'm not super shocked. But the second one, I get more exciting. We have a next question here from Andrew Whitelaw. Hi, well, Andrew. Just touching a little bit on what was brought up earlier. Ongla said that he thinks it's quite weird that you're working with Renier because you almost beat him. Uh, what's your response to that? Do you think that's weird? So I actually don't have any responsible to win, but of course I, 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 I will win. Uh, I also really such respect for the champ. He ex champion, but uh, I can see his weakness and then and I can work on his weakness. So he don't have that this greatness he has. So he don't think this fight going to be easy for him. Do you Thank see you, this Andrew. fight uh, being a little bit more on the feet than his uh, encounter with Rainier? I think he's expecting you to engage more uh, on the feet. Are, are you quite comfortable with that? Yeah, so that's why I can, I can shock him because I just don't know ground game. So actually, I, I work pretty well on my strike game. And then he doesn't think it's going to be easy to fight against me, strike with me, because uh, I have the, the both games on the, on the MMA. So, so I practice a lot striking, then I, it's my background is BJJ. So wherever this fight goes, I guess I have, the, I have advantage against him.
how pleased are you that this fight gets to happen now? Because you guys are kind of some OGs of the division. You guys have been around, you know, uh, this fight could have happened a long time ago, maybe 2018. So are you pleased that it finally gets to happen now? So I, I cannot tell. So of course it's going to be a nice show, but I'm planning to finish on the second round. And it's going to be a nice show. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. This next question is from Fan Sided. How have you changed as a fighter since the last time we saw you? So actually, I don't change so much because this is MMA. So MMA, everything can happen. You know, so of course, I always like to training the skills, I, like uh, the things that don't, uh, don't make part of my game. So for example, I'm ground game. I'm BJJ background, but and then I, I like to to strike me a lot, and that's why like uh, I I guess I can I can surprise him because I like to try something that I don't know. No, of course I don't know, but there's not my background. And then I working a lot on my on my wrestling too, my my boxing, my kickboxing. So I can surprise him. This question is from Fight Game Asia of Rob Bellin from Rob Bellin. What did the Ritter tell you about Ong La? He said, so we don't have it anyway. So just take it now and submit him like I did. That's his word. Very simple. Very simple. <laughs> this next question goes to Jack Godsell of Top South Sports. Jack, please go ahead. Uh, Leon, uh, Ong La and Song mean so much to his country, and he is a hero there, and, and their country has gone through a lot lately. Uh, does that add any pressure, knowing that he's going to come out motivated and fighting for his country? Yes, of course. He's an icon for his country, but uh, I have more motivation. I have, of course, he's a fight to have so many motivation to do this. So that's why I have so much more responsibility to fight against this, this big guy. But this is fight. This is MMA. So you're going to see good show. That's the important thing to do. Uh, do you have a prediction for how you see this fight finishing? Uh, I like to, 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 to try strike with him because they say I'm no good at strike. Then I like to, to, to strike with him. This next question is from Tom Taylor of Bleacher Report. What do you think is Ong La's biggest weapon? And are you worried about it? So actually, I'm not worried about that, but he's have a big hand, like a strong hand and strong kicks. This, uh, I guess, is uh, is a strong things he's have. The winner of this bout could challenge the champion Rene de Ritter next for the title. After challenging or training with the Ritter, what has changed? Do you think you can beat him now? Um, so if you saw the, the last fight, I guess I, I guess I I I win by he win a little bit close because of the fight was like um you have to see so everybody like a uh, more than fifty percent that that thought I I I win this fight so nothing changed so I always keep my playing game and we just have to do the business. Do you consider the Ritter your friend now and have you talked to him about fighting each other again? Yeah, sometimes we talk. Uh, but uh, but they work for their own championship. So if they want to see our fight, our fight they have to fight. So we no close faith, but we're talking a lot. So when he win, I get, I send a message to him. When I get my this is my little baby, he send a lot of message to me. So we change message, and but we have to do the fight. We're gonna do the fight. Tell us more about that experience training with the Ritter. What was the decision-making process with going to train with the Ritter, someone that you had a history competing against? Uh, he's a he, he's a good fighter as well. So he he's like to work on the on on, on the weekend. He does. So for example, he did like a triangle choke on Anula, and then and then he could have finished. And then now he's still oh I have to work on that. No, he got he one of the guys he like to work on the things he make a mistake. So. Yeah, so we learned a little bit from each other. So the, we, we, are, we are both from the, from the BJJ. So I'm just to share some few things, some few details. But it's really nice. Who do you think is the better grappler, you or the Ritter? So I'm a five-time world champion. That's all you need to say. <laughs> what else can I say? 
<laughs> this next question is from Tyrath. What do you think of Ong La Ong Sang as a fighter? How good is he and how are you better? And so everybody can see he doesn't have a BJJ ground game. He doesn't have that. But he's a strong strike. He is. He's a strong fighter. That's why he's become a champion. Um, but he doesn't have a BJJ game. So I know he's he trained with a lot of BJJ guy. guys. They're like a big name of BJJ. BJJ. But he's a weak and a still in the grappling. So he doesn't know pretty well. You spoke about having another son. Has that been a motivating factor for you for this bout as well? Uh, yes, of course. So I, I, so all the things I do for now is all for my family. So I don't think about me anymore. So after you get a kids, you just think about them. And tell us a little bit about your training camp. Where has that been and who have you tra been training with? So I was in Brazil first to, 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 to solve something uh, to my mom. And then I was trained with a big names of the guys. So I did my, 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 with a, uh, Andrea Pedenera is also I train with uh, uh, my, 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 my condition train is Alexander Ferreira. And then also I did risk with uh, Orlando. He's a national champion, national champion. And then I have some big guys that work to from the kickbox, having him my, 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 from my teammate Pietro. And then also my box game with Murillo. So we did a lot. We did a lot there. So we, we, we polished so many things. Now you've moved from country to country, training with many gyms around the world. How has that experience been for you in helping you grow as a fighter? So it's helping me do a lot because in, in Brazil we have a lot of BJJ, BJJ gyms, and then and then I move and then the first time I, I moved to Jakarta and then I learned a little bit boxing and then I moved to Singapore and then I work a lot my 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 Muay Thai game and then I back to to Brazil working my wrestling. And then now I'm in the Netherlands, and then I work on my kickboxing. So it gives me a lot of experience for MMA. Now, in the main event, you have Sam Ega Yangadao, the one strawweight Muay Thai world champion. You've been involved for a period of time. Have you trained with Sam And what do you think about that matchup between So Sam actually, I didn't match with him in the, in the, in the, in the Evolver because the time, I, the time I leave and then he's came, but I saw so many fights of him. And then he's a monster. He's a monster. Give us a prediction for that one. Prajan Chai versus Same. Uh, the champ's going to win. This next question is from Essentially Sports. Varun Khanna with this question. Do you think your fight goes the distance or is someone going to get finished? Yep. Yeah, yeah, so. So this fight can, cannot end on the, on, the third, on the third round. So we're going to finish it before that. 